Hi Air Signs, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your weekly reading for the end of April starting the 23rd. Uh, this is for all the Air Signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. You can listen to this reading for your Moon, your Sun, your Venus, or your Rising to see if it resonates for you. Um, this reading is very general, so please do remember that. If you want to get a personal reading with me, you can always request to do that in the description box below. There's a whole bunch of links how you can contact me. You can do it directly through PayPal, or you can visit my website. The link is below as well. Um, or you can contact me on the Instant Go app uh, if you just have a quick question. I can give you uh, a quick answer. I usually get that done in 24 within 24 hours. I've been super, super busy, and it's kind of extended that time a little bit. Um, so for those of you who have requested and are waiting, I'll be getting to those a little bit later today. And um, your May readings will be coming up throughout this week. I'm going to try to just chip away at them for this week. Okay, what else do I have to say? Um, also, you can follow me, not follow me, you can friend request me on Facebook. The link is below also, so you can interact more personally with me. I try to get to all the comments, but it's just almost impossible to reply to everyone. You guys are just so great, and um, and I, I do read them, but it's sometimes just really hard to uh, answer every single thing. So with that being said, let's get started with your reading. Okay. Your, your overall energy for the week is the Three of Wands. So I feel like there's some type of, some of you, I feel like you're, there's some travel. There's something to do with travel or meeting someone. I'm sorry. No, yeah, that's right. I, I'm, I'm feeling a sense of like teamwork. Something to do with, some of you are, could be dealing with Aries because you do have the Emperor here. Okay. Um, there's something, I almost, I, I know that's not really the card, the waiting card, but I do feel like there's news or waiting to hear about expanding something in your love life or going, meeting someone. I'm just sensing meeting someone. I don't know if you are waiting to meet someone or someone you're waiting for someone to come to you. I just want to, let me clarify this three of wands. It's kind of like that sense where when you meet this person, everything is going to just be so wonderful, so beautiful. At least that's an expectation you might have. Just a second. I'm I'm trying to like see. It's like there's some type of preparation that is being made for this week. Yeah. The Seven of Pentacles. And that's really just an energy of, you know, looking at how far you've come with another person or there's someone else who's doing this and looking at the investment that was made and making the decision or thinking about getting together or meeting with you. It's almost as if someone's taking a look back and saying, you know, we've done this. We've come this far. This is how much we've put into to everything. Can we expand on this? Okay, and that, that could be your, your energy as well, where you could be thinking about this this week. Now, the Three of Cups is here. And that Three of Cups, to me, is a, definitely a reunion card. So either you're reuniting with someone or reuniting with family members. There's a, a celebration that could be coming through you might meet someone at an event or uh, a community in a community situation it could be you know someone for some of you someone that you've met online and now you're at this place where okay let's let's turn this into real world shit that's kind of like your 
that's uh, not necessarily you. It could be them, but it's just the energy that's playing out. Okay. And with the Page of Cups here in this deck, it's the Knave of Chalices. And actually in this deck, it's, it is definitely communication. Um, but this deck is kind of like a little bit of jealousy. Um, so I do feel like someone, there could be someone in your life who's just, they don't want to feel like they could lose you. They don't want to feel like you're going to leave. They're, they're like looking at the situation and saying, you know, I've got to do something. The Three of Cups can also have to do with pregnancy. So some of you may be pregnant or um, if you're male, you have someone who uh, has, there's a female who could be pregnant, at, you know, so that, that kind of energy, if you're cross watching, you could be an Aries dealing with this, but the overall energy is really, and here's the chariot that just fl fell out. And this is like direct energy. This is direct movement forward. This is someone who they know what they want now. They've looked at the whole situation and their intention is to just go straight in that, either in your direction or you in theirs. So the eight of wands is sudden communication that's coming through. It's fast and it's swift. It's also about, you know, it's movement. So you you have two movement cards here. And that's why I was saying with this three of wands, I feel, and this three of cups, there's, there's going, I feel like there's going to be some kind of reunion. Uh, some of you could be pregnant and just like, oh, this baby needs to get here and it's coming up to that time and you're eager and you're ready and you, and you want to go. And that's just kind of like a side message. Um, but there's going to be some definite positive news coming this week from someone else or or you could just be like you know hey we've been where we are for so long and you know let's get the ball rolling you know this is you know this this card is about quick changes there's action this is like an action card um, you know, news arrives or air travels. You could be hearing from someone who's just, you know, okay, I'm coming to see you. That kind of energy could be playing out. Now this emperor, very, the emperor, he's great. I mean, it's, it's a male for sure. So for you ladies, definitely. Um, and this is someone who's very strategic in their planning. Um, they're, they're always on a firm foundation. They're, they're not demanding, but they are commanding okay when they want something they just put their plans into action they know how to get it and they you know they kind of come across as someone who's you know they're definitely a protector um, they will compete and they will win they do tend to, you know, stay on their own oftentimes, but when they want to do, I feel like if there's this person coming to see you, they're coming on their own. Um, they're not traveling with a, with a pack or group. They're um, heading in your direction. And they are, you know, they could be competing for your attention and your love. That's why I was feeling like there could be a little bit of jealousy. This person is not willing to let anyone else have you. And it's not necessarily negative. It's just that I feel like they kind of get the, they get the gist. They're like, oh, if I don't do this now, then I'm going to lose this person forever. So it's definitely action, action oriented. I was pulling while I was shuffling uh, and speaking. I was thinking about this page of cups and I wanted to clarify. And so it's the three of cups again. So I, I do feel like for a lot of you, if you're female, there could be pregnancy and you could be, and this, you know, this message will resonate for those of you who understand. You could be just, you know, ready to have this baby or just eager with a particular person if you're dealing with it, dealing with an Aries and ready to, you know, move this relationship along, you know, and, you know, like you're, it's not like you have a choice whether or not to have this child. Some of you, 
may have an, you know, you may be thinking about your options, but I feel like you want to, um, I feel like you're ready to do this. It, you feel within you that, you know, if you just find out that you're pregnant, you feel within you, you know, I'm ready to have a baby. I'm ready to go. And you start taking steps to do this. And the and I feel like there's someone else, if you're, you know, whoever your partner is, is ready as well to do this. Let me clarify this emperor. I don't usually do this with these readings. I haven't done them in a while, but... I just, sometimes when I get the major arcana cards, I like to clarify them. Mm. Six of Cups. So this emperor is someone from your past who is ready to reunite. So if this is someone from your past that you spent time with and you got pregnant and you weren't together for a while, there is this reunion. You have three reunion cards. So I am seeing that happening. If there's no pregnancy involved, this is just a renewal, a reconciliation, a new beginning, perhaps with this Aries. Um, and if it's not Aries for you, you know, of course they could have Aries somewhere in a chart. And I do believe that we all do. Um, but whoever this person is, they're wanting reconciliation. They want to have a new beginning with you. Um, some of it is because, you know, there's a little bit of competition or jealousy. And this person is like, oh, no, <laughs> I better do something now or else she's going to get away or he's going to get away. Um, I don't really see you fighting this off or saying no. I feel like a lot of you want this. I'm going to clarify the Seven of Wands. Four of Four of Wands, homecoming, celebrations, another reunion, family, friends, wedding. Okay, commitment, marriage. Yeah, I feel like you guys have a good week coming up. Um, and just remember that this energy, you know, we could go, you could go through this whole week and just be like, damn, this didn't happen, but it could happen the following week. Or for some of you, maybe it already has. So try to be gentle with these messages because it's very general and life is never stop and start. Everything's fluid and it always just flows within uh, and transforms. So I do feel like you know, this person, maybe they want to protect if you're married to them or you're already in a relationship with them. Maybe they want to hold on now to this, you know, or they do. You know, they, 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 this person's like, I feel like they're thinking to themselves, wow, we've been through so much or there's been so much that's gone on. And, you know, they're seeing you have other suitors, you have other options. Not that we have an options card here, but they're assessing and they don't want to let go. Even if you've split, someone's coming to the realization that they could easily lose you due to whatever reason. And I feel like they're going to, you know, step it up. Definitely. The chariot, some of you could be dealing with cancer, but the chariot is the card of someone who, you know, that's that energy of where, you know, you get in your car, you map out your destination, and you just go. And there's no, you're not taking any shortcuts or routes. You know exactly how to get there. You know exactly how to commandeer your ship. And you're just like, I know exactly where I'm going. And I'm, that's the way I'm going. And so that's really the energy of the week for air signs. And I will also say that if this doesn't play out as another person, this could definitely be you. This could definitely be you saying, I am ready. I'm going after what I want. And you're going to, you may be sending out messages. You may be letting people know you're in this place of power this week. There could be someone from your past that you're going back to or going back for, or, uh, you know, you may have come to this realization. I can't lose this person. And I'm, I'm, I'm taking the steps now. I've looked at the situation. 
I've looked at what it's been. I want more. I want to hold on. I don't want to let go. This is what I need. This is what I want. And you've got love inspiring you with the page of cups. So there's communication. There's messages of love coming to you and going out from you. I like your reading. I think it's great. <laughs> I do. I think it's nice. I think there's just some finale happening or surrounding you during this time period from someone else you there could be an offer to get into a more deep a deeper committed relationship or get married something like that all right so try to stay positive if this doesn't happen for you this week just let the energies play out i, I tell people all that all the time very general reading again if you want to get a personal reading check the description box below you can contact me there and uh yeah good luck take care bye